और बहुत कम लोगों को मालूम है मैंने फाइटर की कहानी सुनी है फाइटर में ये फाइटर है ऋतिक नहीं है ऋतिक इज द रोमांटिक लीड बट द एक्चुअल फाइटर मैंने देखो सारी पिक्चर की कहानी आपको बता दी फाइटर Now who says time travel is impossible? Let's take a trip back in time to last year's Republic Day. एक सोल्जर ये नहीं पूछता देश ने उसके लिए क्या किया पूछता है वो देश के लिए क्या कर सकता है And Now let's snap back to the present moment. ईट का जवाब पत्थर से देने आए हो नहीं धोखे का जवाब बदले से If you are picking up on a bit of roughness in my voice, blame it all on the whistling and cheering in the theater while watching Fighter. I mean, come on, it's got Rithik Roshan after all. It would be very unfair to say Fighter is a Rithik Roshan movie. Unlike superstar swag movies like Pathan and Tiger, where the stardom of the hero is magnified throughout the film, Rithik's character, call sign Paddy, is just a part of the film. He is not the only one who is fighting off the bad guys, who is performing stunts in the air, or who is rescuing or romancing. His presence doesn't overshadow the other actors, and he shares equal screen space with actors like Deepika Padukone and Anil Kapoor. Yes, he indeed is the nucleus of the film, but he isn't everything. Believe me when I say this: Deepika's entry in the film is way better than Rithik's. For those who have watched the film, let me know in the comments if you think otherwise. So, in my previous preview video about Fighter, we talked a bit about the inevitable comparisons with Top Gun, the movie that has set the gold standard for aerial combat. Now Siddharth Anand made a bold claim that those comparisons will bite their dust in the first 5 minutes of Fighter. That Top Gun conversation is going to be bitten to dust dust uh, in the first 5 minutes of the film. And let me tell you he's absolutely spot on to a certain degree. Yes, the aerial shots, the ego of the best pilot, the playing alone not caring about the team attitude, arrogant, confident. All that is there, but they are merely inspirations and it would be unfair to not watch Fighter solely on the assumption that it's a copy of Top Gun. Also to know that Hollywood movies have a much larger budget. What we see in Bollywood is a mere fraction of that pie, and with that fraction, Fighter manages to carve its own niche, offering a story and treatment that's a breath of fresh air in the aerial combat film scene. Now, for those still on the fence about watching it, and those who decide to jump in after this review, here is a little request: if possible, watch Fighter in an IMAX theater. It's a bit challenging to express the incredible experience. Let me sum it up in one word: it was mind blowing. With that food for thought. Let's get started. Siddharth Anand very nicely, very organically completes his hat trick of fits with Rithik. Bang bang, war, and now fighter. He has finally found his mojo. And in my humble opinion, this is Siddharth Anand's best film to date. He has managed to take a generic action template and seamlessly blend it with breathtaking action, heartfelt emotion, and an abundance of patriotism in a movie where the real hero is the Indian Air Force. The trailer might have hinted at a predictable storyline and an obvious end, but it certainly wasn't in reality. If the action is happening in the air, the real story is building on the ground. The movie's first half focuses on the camaraderie of the elite aviator unit, Air Dragons, with Anil Kapoor as the commanding officer. The air drills, the Heer Aswani song in the background, and the cheeky humor build up the story, followed by real events when the Pulwama attack and Balakot air strikes. The second half starts slow but soon catches up amidst the diplomatic tensions between India and Pakistan, followed by more attacks, dazzling aerial dogfighting, and eventually the climax. One of my worries after watching the trailer was the redundant love story between Rithik and Deepika, but the movie surprised me. It hardly contributed to five percent of the movie, and the Ishq Jaisa song was simply a promotional gimmick. Coming to performances, and we have to start with Rithik Roshan. Some actors can claim they are superstars, but how many can really act? Rithik Roshan, who was a superstar overnight after his first film, proved why he's so much more of an actor than a superstar. Take the stardom out of the actor, and you will get a dignified, hardworking, emotional, and fearless fighter, Paddy. There is something about Rithik's eyes, a touch of honesty and innocent features in them, enough to mesmerize the audience. Rithik's fans, including me, will love Fighter because he is smiling, he is crying, he is emoting, he is dancing, and more than anything, he is punching. Deepika Padukone is not an eye candy in the movie. Her chemistry with Rithik is terrific, and I hope these two do more movies together in the future. If Rithik has PTSD, Deepika has her own problems, which are later resolved through one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I won't share details for the risk of spoilers, but it's a scene that every parent should watch. Anil Kapoor is probably at the peak of his career once again. With the recent success of Animal, Anil Kapoor is stellar as a commanding officer, taking matters into his own hands when necessary, delivering dialogue in his signature style and creating cinematic impact that resonates throughout the film. Ankaro ego ki koi jagah nahi. Karan Singh Grover and Akshay Oberoi play their part to perfection, and each has their own storyline that blends with the overall narrative. Vishal Sani, the antagonist in the movie, has big shoes to fill, 
considering he is going against the Ruthie Roshan. Even though the face-off doesn't match with the likes of SRK John and Patan, I must say that Risham does a fine job. Coming to some technical aspects, the VFX of Fighter is simply amazing. The teaser was underwhelming and the trailer restored some hope but the movie surpassed my expectations. The VFX in the final cut is jaw-dropping, especially the dog fighting between Patty and Red Nose, which is bound to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Dialogues which might sound cringy to many actually sounded nearly perfect to me. उन्हें दिखाना पड़ेगा कि बाप कौन है दुनिया में मिल जाएंगे आशिक कई पर वतन से हसीन सनम नहीं होता हीरो में सिमट कर सोने से लिपट कर मरते हैं कई पर तिरंगे से खूबसूरत कफन नहीं होता तुमने किया है मालिक हम ऑल दीज आर विसल एंड कॉन्टेक्ट अराउंड दीज डायलॉग्स मेक्स एन इवन मोर एंजॉयबल नो वी है गुड पॉइंट बट ए रिव्यू इज इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिजम The first major one, something I mentioned in my previous video as well, is the overuse of the India-Pakistan conflict. This game of us versus them, which has become a recurring theme in films like Pathan, Tiger, and Kadar, is taking the charm out of such movies. I agree that it is clearly shown in the movie that India's war is against terrorism and not against the people of Pakistan, but filmmakers are overdoing it, and I hope they realize it soon. Even though the film's music is good, the unnecessary placement of the two songs disturbs the screenplay and breaks the movie's rhythm. My favorite song. Mitti, which has not yet released, is my favorite, and uh, Heed Asmani, which has just released, uh, is another one of my favorites. I agree with Dilip. His favorites, Heed Asmani and Mitti, are the only two songs that blend perfectly with the story and don't disturb the movie space. Coming to final thoughts, overall the movie is fantastic. If not anything, you will get a boost of patriotism and a massive respect for the armed forces who sacrifice their lives so people like us can sleep peacefully. The movie has everything. I have been action, emotion, powerful acting performances, amazing VFX and most importantly a gift from Salar Ganan for India's 75th Republic Day. Do not wait for the movie to come on OTT. Go to the theaters, watch it with your family and loved ones and let us know in the comments. That wraps up our review of Fighter. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So please keep the conversation alive. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you stay updated on our future videos. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to explore more content from our channel on the next screen. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.